I'm Martina Adam. Um, I studied psychology at the University of Liverpool and then I did a master's in research methods in psychology at the University of Liverpool as well. Um, at the moment I'm a data analyst on the GRACE Data Plus development programme. I chose the graduate scheme over other options because it's um, the process of applying for jobs for a young student who's just kind of coming out of university is or can be a grueling process and um, with my non-technical background you know in psychology a lot of the job adverts that I saw on various different sites required years of experience in Python and SQL which are very technical skills and I knew that I didn't have those in my skill stack just yet and that's why I opted for the graduate scheme because I wanted an employer who valued um, the kind of upskilling process rather than um, having the technical skills already and I really wanted that support um, and that career mentoring as well to be able to learn as I go along rather than have those skills in the first place. Yeah, so I found Grace through Prospects um, and I applied uh, through their uh, website online with my CV. Um, I then went through four rounds of interview uh, and that included a mix of uh, telephone interview, video interview um, and also had to analyse a data set as well and present it back. A typical day involves me being centred around my client work, so the fundamental aim of my role is to deliver value to my client. So on a sort of day-to-day -day and weekly basis, I work heavily with Excel to sort of extract data from various systems, uh, compile it into reports, and then at, towards the end of the month, compiling all that data for the financial month end process. The part that I enjoy the most would definitely be the people. So I think there's a bit of a misconception about working in, in sort of data and tech that it's kind of a lonely place and you're sort of you know sat on the computer by yourself and, and working alone. Um, it's it's in my experience it's been nothing like that. There's a real community here um, of like-minded people who want to collaborate and, and kind of work together. So there has been a lot of times during my day to day where there's an error in the formula, error in the code, or maybe some numbers don't add up on an Excel spreadsheet. And the moment where you get that sort of like, aha, and you manage to, to find it and then implement the solution, that's a really rewarding experience. In terms of the challenges, um, I would say the major one that I found is stakeholder management. So in my role, it's crucial to be able to sort of identify and analyse what the stakeholder needs are and then try and plan on how you're going to manage their expectations. So that's definitely a challenge that I faced, but um, it really comes with experience in trying to adapt your social skills to the different people that you meet. So all those transferable skills, you know, time management, presentations, communications, working independently, um, working to deadlines, all of those skills have set me up for success in the role that I'm doing now. The first quality I would say is paying good attention to detail. So you need to be able to spot um, errors in code or in Excel. You need to be able to see when the numbers don't add up and then spend a bit of time to look over that and try and find um, how to fix the solution. But that does come with experience. When you first go onto client site, you probably won't be able to spot that as easily and as quickly because you need to learn what to look out for. Uh, the second thing I would say is creativity. In terms of things like data visualizations and dashboards, you need to have that creativity to be able to produce a product that your stakeholders will like and that it will be user friendly. Um, and finally, it's that kind of you know, curiosity and being open to learning and upskilling. The, the sort of data and technology world is constantly changing. Um, in terms of 
the skills that you need to, to use, they're constantly evolving as well. And so you need to be open to being able to continuously learn. Um, you know, some people might think that when you finish university, your learning ends there. Um, it's, not quite, <laughs> it's not quite like that in, um, in the world of data and tech. My role developed directly in line with my growth of confidence. So I was never really a shy individual, but at the beginning of my journey, I kind of struggled with that lack of self-belief that I could succeed in this field, especially coming from a non-technical background and also being a woman. Um, so as I kind of grew in that confidence, I started to take on additional responsibilities, additional projects, and really working with different people to um, you know, work on different projects and implement solutions. So I would say that's definitely how my role has evolved, just shaped me more to be a whole rounded person. In terms of my career ambitions, they're not really centered around a specific role at the moment. Um, I'm more kind of focused on expanding my skill set, um, gaining experiences, and trying to really explore which um, kind of roles um, really suit me the best. And, and which I find meaningful and exciting. The piece of advice I would give to aspiring data analysts would be to have a growth mindset and curiosity, to have self-compassion for the mistakes that you've uh, made, and also to have um, a really kind of high dedication to achieving your goals.